Sup y'all, bringing you guys another video. So over the weekend, there was a, a big UFC event, UFC 274, with uh, Charles Oliveira uh, headlining against uh, Justin Gaethje. Um, I honestly did not really know about this event. I, I, m most, I mean, I've been seeing commercials of it, ads of it on the internet, but I, I honestly wasn't really paying too much attention to it. As you guys all know, I'm, I'm more of a boxing guy and the fight I was looking for the most it was the uh, Canelo versus Bivol fight. But I, I heard about this fight. Um, there was a lot of controversy leading up to it in the weigh-ins because Charles uh, failed to make weight. Um, there were some talks about uh, the scales being tampered with, that uh, the scales were off, this and that and uh, Charles Oliveira lost his uh, belt on the scales. And, you know, I was interested to see how it would play out, but obviously after boxing, and I did, and it was a pretty good fight, not gonna lie. I thought it was a pretty good fight, Oliveira and Gaethje. Uh, you know, they their striking moments was pretty entertaining. I think when Oliveira was down, uh, Gaethje would tell him to get up, then he would get up, and their striking game was pretty entertaining. And uh, eventually, Oliveira was able to get uh, Gaethje to the ground that uh, was able to rock him and uh, it, he tried to go for the arm at first but then he failed to do that he tried to then he was able to go behind him and do a chokehold and eventually made uh, Justin Gaethje tap out now I've said it before and I'll say it again I'm not the biggest UFC guy I'm not the biggest MMA guy I'm more of a boxing guy I'm pretty much a casual MMA fan <laughs> um but I gotta say, man, uh, Charles, he's been around for a while. And he, over the past few years, he has definitely improved significantly over the past few years. I gotta say, uh, you know, just, look, just watching him fight here, I just remember like, man, he's a lot better now than, than I remember. And, um, you know, he dominated the fight. Um, well, not super dominated, but, you know, he clearly won. And uh, sucks that he lost his belt, but he's still the champion in a way because he did not lose this fight. And uh, hopefully his next fight will be for that vacant belt that he lost on the scales. And uh, and yeah, hope, uh, honestly, I don't know who's next with the UFC, how they, they, they do their thing. Um, but uh, I'm sure Charles has uh, has definitely gained, gained um, a lot of fans over the years. And uh, a lot of people actually do believe that he should be the champion, that the, the scales were tampered with, and this and that, based on what I've seen on social media. And with his win, Charles improves to 33 and 8. Um, it's his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 win in a row since he lost to Paul Felder back in 2017. Like I said, he has improved a lot over the years. I gotta say, he really did. He really did. And, um, you know, I, I look forward to seeing more of him. Uh, you know, two good wins in a row, beating Dustin Poirier and now Justin Gaethje. Damn. Damn. So, so yeah, and uh, Justin suffers his fourth loss in his in, in uh, his career. Um, two losses in his last three fights. And, uh, yeah, he'll be back. I'm sure Justin Gaethje will be back. But, holy cow, man. Uh, that was a very good win by Charles. So, anyway. Again, I'm not the biggest UFC guy, but this event caught my interest, so I thought I'd share my thoughts about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.